All right, guys, welcome back to Death Stranding. And we'll be going down to this cosplayer over here. And honestly, if we just take a look at the map, this is going to be raining right through here. Um, and if we look, there's something right here. I don't know whether it's something we can't get over or what. I'm trying to figure out if it's a good path to go and back through the mule territory and down here to avoid as much rain as possible or just go straight down there um there's also a resting place right here if we need it but I'm not really sure we do So let's go back over here and over there, because at least I know that if we're in the mule territory, back up, then there won't be any BTs. And let's see, is, that's, this is generator over here. What is this thing? Stretch my legs. Oh, it's a watchtower. Oh no, it's a structure menu, okay. There we go. I put on my tune the way I do. Alright, so let's go ahead. Do we have a of all the crap that I didn't grab? It was a charging thing. Okay. If we go over bridges, we shouldn't need to charge, or I'll, it won't use battery. I think that's a charging station over there, so it's good at this one. Okay, so it looks like that one might be our best bet to get over this. Yeah, there we go. Alright. We can pick up all that stuff we dropped as well. If it gets ruined on the way, oh well.
Okay. So let's see, anything else here? Got some special alloys, ladder. They're all kind of far away. Speed skeleton. Okay, let's go grab these alloys. And what we'll actually do is just go straight back to the um, uh, place we were just at and maybe try to build a road really quick. go this way. It's funny that you can just walk along that edge and have, and you can avoid the cliffs over here. Wow. So I really just kind of ruined all that cargo um, before for no reason. So I really have to take it out of the truck. <sighs> Alright. Uh, what did we need? Let's try these three really quick and just... Because I cannot remember. Oh, whoops. Really? What's it need? Chiral crystals? We have enough metals and ceramics. That's it? We, we have all that, except for ceramics. That makes no sense. What? Okay, so I do not understand that. 
we have enough metals and power crystals, crystals to complete it. But right it's on. saying we don't have any of it. Okay. We can actually recycle this empty bottle again. Okay, so... On the truck. Until I have a big purpose for all that stuff, I'm just gonna put it in there. Uh, I don't think we need anything else. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, do we have... Actually, yeah, we don't have a bola gun. So let's go ahead and fabricate one of those, just in case. Okay, so now, I so said we're just going to cosplay right there. Let's forget the road then, I guess, you know. still something in the, in the bed of this thing. I just don't understand. Um, maybe I forgot how to do it, I, but I swear you just had to go up to it and put in what you had that the road required, and it said it required, I think it was only like 200 and something of both things. Over there.
The only reason I'm using this is to save energy, save battery on our legs. Because really, we don't need the uh, truck at this point. Ugh. Five hundred and four meters, yeah. Gogia. Time to eat out. What the? Alright, 250 meters, not too bad. Oh, that's weird. I guess we didn't have to get out. Paris spray would be. Oh yeah, I could have drove it all the way at least until the bottom of this. The heck? See right there I tried to stop so that wouldn't happen and it just bleh, slipped everywhere. Yes. Okay. Maybe it wasn't. I don't. I don't know what gives us an A or B then. Well traveled. Can you make it official? Whenever I mention your name to my partner, he gets all excited and starts talking about how much he wants to meet you. He's pretty interested in the chiral network too. Totally on board with it and everything. But. I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around it. I guess what I'm saying is that I'm okay with trying it out, just without any of the extra strings, if that's an option. If it is, then would you mind doing the honors? Oh, okay. It's one of those. Piss! 
Sam. It's Conan O'Brien. Sam Bridges. Uh, welcome to our summer home by the falls. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for making the trip. I've always wanted to meet you. I know what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head? Or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> well, both. Actually, the otter's a member of the weasel family. I have weasels in my family, but enough about my brother. <laughs> Man, you are tough. Hey, did you know that otters can survive without land? Oh yeah, they eat, sleep, even give birth all in the water. The only thing they can't do in the water is drown. <laughs> Such good swim swimmers, say. Ah, okay. Wow. You laugh about as much as this guy. Hey, by the way, you should have this. It'll help you on your way. Yeah, don't worry about me. I've got an otter one. <laughs> Come on. Come on, otter one? That's pretty good. Come on. Oh, man, you're the only audience I've had in like 12 years. Jesus. Oh, wow, an otter man. Helmet or whatever. Well, we met Conan O'Brien. We uh, haven't met Jeff Keighley yet. The otter hood. By the way, that hood was threaded by the hand of my cosplay partner. And she's amazing. It's triple stitched. That's got silk. She's incredible. Wear it, and you too can ride the river rapids without fear. <laughs> Unless you're afraid of looking too sexy. <laughs> oh, right? Really? Still nothing? You know what? Fine. Just go. Just go, okay? Yeah, and make the river your friend. That'll be fun. Good work. New order available. Please All access right. delivery terminal for further... Uh, anti-aging cream. I ain't going over there. Uh, we can do top quality underwear. Because <laughs> it's on the way. Okay, so let's look at our mail. The junk dealer. Thanks for delivering the prototype. Oh, Sam, I heard you delivered the samples we provided. Thanks for that. We really appreciate it. I know it was probably weird for you, and me, and her being separated and all. I'm not gonna pretend I wasn't a stupid asshole about well everything. Anyway, I just want to say that we're grateful. I just hope that stuff comes in handy one day. By the way, we've got a few more designs we're working on, so if you like the look of that kit, drop by our shelter for a gander. Hopefully, the things we're working on will prove useful, if not to you, then to someone. See you around, Sam. Hey, where's our otter hat? Hmm. Maybe we can only get it uh, in our room. Oh, the charging thing right here too. Hey, Conan. Let's enter the private room and see if we can, uh, wear the otter hat.
Why is the room red? I guess it's someone else's room. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. I don't see the otter hat anywhere. Got the chiral artist mother. What do you think of the chiral boots? Dear Sam, thank you again for everything you've done for us. I've been wondering, how are those chiral boots of yours holding up? My daughter's the one who made them, in case you didn't know. I'm not sure how they work myself. Something about a chiralium coating making them extra durable. I'd be worried about chiral contamination myself, to tell the truth. So I wouldn't blame you if you didn't wear them and just held onto them as a keepsake. Having that said, if I know anything about you, Sam, you're going to want to try them out at least once. You strike me as someone who values the practical over the ornamental. My daughter made several pairs like that, you know? She's really quite something, isn't she? Anyway, if you do decide to take them for a spin, let me know about how they treat you. The junk dealer, how's my ladder working out for you? Hey Sam, you find a use for the ladder I gave you? I built it with my own two hands, you know? So, it's one of a kind. Not some run-of-the-mill gadget. For one thing, and you've probably noticed this already, it's coated with chiral crystals. Little trick I picked up from the better half, as you might have guessed. The downside is that the coating renders it unprintable. Not that you'll ever have to fabricate a replacement, of course. We're talking super lightweight and timefall resistant to boot. It's the last ladder you'll ever need, unless you lose it. You haven't, right? Anyway, let me know what you think, okay? Feedback is always welcome. Yeah, I hope I didn't lose it. But yeah, I don't see... The otter hat anywhere. I got luggage over there for some reason. the mess. I got caught in the rain. Oops. Didn't mean to give you a shower. I tried waiting it out, but when I checked the time. Sorry. Should have come sooner. Well, I was kind of hoping the time fall would have uh, been gone by now. Alright, our truck is still there. Really? He got stuck on a pebble. So the ladder is resistant to time fall, which means if we put it down, uh, it won't break. Or it won't get ruined. I 
Hold on, what's on the back of here? How did I not uh, see that last time? I do feel like though, if you're heading into well, mule territory, you might want to go ahead and. Wonder if anyone's watching. Huh? Uh, get their truck and get all that stuff because all that extra stuff we grabbed from um, their uh, cash, I guess, uh, and delivered, we got the backpack, the battery. We got a lot of good stuff. And that was just off of a random mule, you know, that we decided, hey, let's just grab all this stuff. that I gotta go over these markers. Oh, the stuff uh, we put on the back was the stuff we had, okay. damn otter hat, huh? Long range truck. Oh, you stupid bot. You gotta see. I'm a Southern Sutherland. You're an inspiration. Sam, I owe you an apology. In my last mail, I made it sound like you were on the fast track to becoming obsolete. Guess I was caught up in my excitement over the delivery bot. Maybe I didn't let it show so much, but I was glad to find you on our doorstep again. Seriously. Sure, the bots are useful and less risky, but that doesn't mean we don't still need guys like you. If anything, we need you now more than ever. 
You're a symbol, an inspiration. When people see you risking your neck for the rest, they have something to aspire to. I'm not saying that everybody should charge off into the wilderness, of course, but I think you're a great example of how we can work towards a better future. People need that. Hell, I need that. From the cosplayer, be sure to use your otter hood. I don't know how. That otter hood I made for you is pretty special. I know because I tested it out myself. But putting it on, you transform into an otter. And I'm not just talking about your appearance. You literally become one with the water. Did you notice that I even put a Bridges logo on it for you? That's proof that no one else has done anything like it. I'm so happy that I'm able to s support your work. Us humans should strive to live in harmony with nature. We won't survive for long if we're always fighting against it. We need to go with nature's flow, surrender ourselves to the natural rhythms of the world. That's what I think anyway. That's why I got into cosplay. I j wanted to lose myself into a character. Let the character take over. Some people think it's just an excuse to wear fancy clothes, but they're missing the point. It's an art. The art of transformation. We shall all embrace our place in the world. There was a time when I tried to stay apart from it all. But after meeting you, being my beloved, my eyes have been opened. And that's why I've decided I'm going to sign a contract with Bridges and see where that takes me. Okay. The Wandering MC. Have you used your otter hood? From Conan. When I was younger, I was something of a professional host. I travel all over the country and speak at events, meet interesting people, and so on. In my own very little way, I was hoping to bring America together, too. I really believe that. Sure, I was scared of BTs, but I had lots of porter friends, so we used to travel together from city to city. They called me the wandering host. I remember the first time I was asked to take part in the cosplay event. I didn't really understand the concept at first, but that event opened my eyes and showed me how wonderful cosplay could be. Most people are skeptical, skeptical, but it's something you can't understand unless you've experienced it for yourself. A total transformation into someone or something else. I was an instant co convert. I started running my own cosplay events trying to get everyone to see how amazing it really is. It was at one of these events that I met my girl. Her costumes are incredible, on a whole other level. It's not just her technique either. It's her spirit, her soul. She's transcended into in transcended to a higher plane. Anyway, she's one who made that otter hood. Maybe you've already noticed, but putting that on will pretty much turn you into an otter. That's sure to be useful at some point, right? I want to share her passion with the whole world. That's why I persuaded her to hook up the Cairo Network and join the UCA the next time I drop by. With my people skills and her designs, we'll get the whole country on the cosplay train before you know it. Okay. Likes from the cosplayer. Okay, so we have to fabricate it. Oh no, that's the truck. Yeah, I don't know where the... Uh, otter hood is. Or I guess just go ahead and deliver these. Or actually, where are we going? Uh, we're going all the way up to Lake Knot City. Oops. Um, so we can do that one. Maybe that one. I don't know. Um, this one. Okay. Sticky guns. 90 kg. Wow. Wait, let me see.
Sam, got a critical request. A shipment of experimental weapons has just been stolen by mules. They were scheduled to be delivered to Lake Knot City, but got picked off en route. The mules loaded them into their own vehicle and fled before help could arrive. And while we don't know their exact location based on eyewitness accounts, we've managed to narrow it to a small area. Track them down, secure the weapons, and deliver them to Lake Knot. I've been there twice. It wasn't there, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, do we have... Well, I don't know. I'll see. Don't need a vehicle. We got the truck. The sticky gun is a weapon that launches an adhesive projectile. Gun and projectile are connected by a wire which can be engaged to pull in targets. It's strong, too. Could support up to several dozen kilos. You can use it to secure cargo at a distance. Right out from under a mule's nose, maybe. You're a clever guy, so... I'm sure you can think up a few other applications. Just comes down to how creative you can get. I'd rather just knock them all out and take it. Um, let's go ahead and put this anti-BT handgun in our private locker because I don't need it right now. Um, got the bola gun, we got the sticky gun. I'll just put this, I'm just going to put the sticky gun in there. I don't think we need it. Ooh, let's go ahead and recycle these. We'll do it in a second. Order assigned. Oh wait, what was... Oh, these. Okay. We have a lot of boots. Okay, and so we can go ahead and honestly take on this one, this one, and we can take them all on, to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff on the truck. <laughs> That stuff get the hell off my screen, thank you. God, it lingers there for way too long. Okay, so really quick. Uh any of these markers I need to remove so they don't confuse me. 
Is that all that was on there? Oh, no. That looks like it might be it. Okay, so what we're doing... It's going down to Mule territory first yes uh, I'm not gonna fill up right there because once we get to the mule place if we need battery we can grab one of their other trucks that I know is there oh there's a mule I guess I went the uh, wrong way. Wonder if I run him over, does he just get knocked out? Oh yeah, I could have just went left. Dang it. Well, you know what? Let me do that. If I go all the way over there, I don't have to deal with any of this crap. What the hell is this? Oh, a boot plan or whatever. that sound hey fellas how we doing today he's knocked out oh I <laughs> knocked him out Alright, where are you guys? Be able to say what that is okay. Anybody else? Oh, there's the stuff. Oh no, that's that's my car. There 
stay there. Guys, I'm waiting for you. Oh, I missed. Thanks for standing there, buddy. Oh, he's already knocked out. Okay, so where is the stuff that we need? Okay, so it's this post box right here. Uh, I think there's another vehicle in... one of these things. Okay. And do I have with me okay I don't have a PCC but I feel like at this post box there should probably be one uh, if I need a bit oh I, I hate it over here for that I hate it so much um, there's, there should be one, so I can build a generator if I need to. Unless... Stretch my legs. There's one in here. Private locker, uh... Oh. I couldn't build a See the tracks you left behind? They tell a story. If you were a spy on a mission, you'd have failed. But you're not. So be proud of those tracks. They're proof that you exist. Keep leaving that proof. Dang. Is this what we need then? It doesn't look like it. Oh, there's two others. Oh, how did I not see the one right there?
Come on, let's roll. Okay, so it wasn't in either one of those, so it has to be in this one. Get over there. I guess I just have to go a long way. Yeah, that right there. Okay. I know. But there's another truck somewhere. So where is... I've already looked into this one now that's not in here. Yeah, nothing in here. There was that one that I saw. I don't understand where it's supposed to be. I looked in all of these containers. Oh, is it this stuff? Oh, well that wasn't clear at all. Oh, recover at least one. Well, just in case they break, I got a bunch. We'll see what was offloaded. And it's all on this one. Yes. 
Okay, well, technically, we only need one of these. Okay. So, we have one, do we have anything for here? We have stuff for the Elder, oh yeah, we can deliver all of the lost stuff over there. We don't need any of that. Too bad you can't store the mule vehicles here. This is just stuff from other people, to other people, so I don't really care too much about it. Transporter. Receive more likes. Well, take care of yourself. Access God, terminal or no, not going back down there. That lady needs way too many orders done. So what is, the closest one is this elder, um, so I guess we can go there. Uh, I will say it's probably... Probably the hardest one that we're gonna be able to get a vehicle to, because he's up on a mountain. I guess if I have to... I'll get out of the vehicle and just walk his stuff up there. Come on, jump! You can jump for a reason. Okay, hold on. There, there, there. <sighs> His stuff is up there. Uh, 
Oh no, that's the sticky gun. Okay, that's the elder craftsman. No, we're going to the craftsman. And we don't have a PCC or whatever it is. Oh, we're already in mule territory? Let's sort of look at that. Sixty, eighty, ninety, one ten. Hmm, let's see. What needs to go to the craftsman? This one. Uh, actually, that's it. Honestly, I don't care about the Elder. Hmm. If the stuff is still there, then I'll grab it when I come back. Going into Muir, more mule territory. Wait. No, okay, that's just because I was facing over there. Nice. And honestly, if I get a PVCC, I think that's what it is, uh, I can just go and make a generator over there, so not too worried. We got a couple options to deliver that stuff back to them. It's funny that they make a timefall shelter right here when you can just kind of go in here. It's weird. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Keep on keeping up. Classic open world games. Yeah, they're pretty good. Delivering cargo. people. Ooh, Bola Gun 2. Watcher, Horizon Zero Dawn. Hey! Vigilant.
Wow, he really wanted that stuff. Just so you know, I've put something aside for you. Maybe you could use it more than me. Go ahead and grab it whenever. Custom Hematic Grenades. Did I not grab the hat from cosplay counter? Work. New order available. Please have Only has one ammo. A new and improved Bola gun. It allows you to charge up shots for increased range and wire spread. Pretty neat, huh? Yes, it is. Come on with the damn standard orders. I know that's there's a lot of them, but. So, yeah, I would like to remove the marker from the Elder. We're going to be going to the Engineer now. I wish you could pick those up while on a vehicle. Well, actually, you know what? I'll say this: the the bikes are really clunky. Cause so far, oh, there's a red. So far, the big old trucks that we've gotten actually drive pretty well. They drive super slow on grass for some reason, but they drive pretty well. Um, these things are so clunky. We're going over there, right? Engineer, yes. Okay, so... This road... Leads us most of the way there. Um, and it's, the lo it's a longer way, but it leads us most of the way. Maybe this is why we couldn't um, build the road, because it was technically being built, or built already. Once we get right there to the auto paver. Which I believe might be right here. Yes. Okay. Detected. All weapons. 
Wow, that was a lot of it. Oh, hey. Good to see you. Damn. You carried all this by yourself? Me and a bike and a truck. Power skeleton level two. Hey. Smoke grenade level two. One of our bots have completed. All right. I don't care. Man, these side things really don't do much to this. <laughs> Thanks. Until next time. Good work. New order available. Alright, bot, what do you want to do? Wow, 107. Machine oil. This goes to the junk dealer. Transformer units for a vehicle charger. I'm wondering if any of these... Energy boosting drinks, really? Are, like, gonna actually matter? Like, Deploying are they going to help us out bot. the way that some of my other ones did that I personally did? Like, um, how I got the pouches and stuff. Will any of the bot deliveries do that for me? And now, we're heading up to Lake Knot City. And is this a fully built road? Oh, that's the road we're on, yeah. No problem. And yeah, I know this one's going to be a little longer episode, but whatever. Dumbass. Let me just make sure. South Knot City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. They've not been receiving supplies regularly either. Now, no one's starving, not yet, but a sense of unease is spreading across the city. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. You'll also be carrying seeds, earthworm and insect protein paste, organic chemicals, and anti-BT weapons laced with your blood. None of which can be sent via a Cairo printer. A delivery will remind the citizens they're connected to the rest of the country. It will give them hope. And if you can get them connected to the Cairo network, all the better. Something's been nagging at me, though. Fragile checked in a little while ago, saying that due to some instability with the beach, she was having trouble making jumps. Until things settle down, she won't be able to help you out. 
Fragile's at the distro center south of Lake Knot if you want to hear the rest of the story. I marked a location on your map. Be sure to take a look. By the way, chiral density appears to be increasing across the board. We're currently looking into what kind of impact this might have on Cupid functionality. No need for you to worry about all that, though. Just keep on doing what you do best, huh? Well, it said I only needed one piece. Whatever, man. Wait, oh, that... Oh, the song Waiting by 10 Years. I love that band. Gotta ask for this. Whatever, man. Alright. We got the sticky gun we can fabricate, but we don't need to. Um, we have standard orders, a shit ton. Jesus. And then we have emergency provisions delivery. Um, but the thing is, and we can rest in the private room, probably for something. Um, I'm going to end it here. Hmm. I'm going to... farm I need to go back here can I fast travel anywhere close maybe there okay so let's go ahead and rest in here and see If anything crazy happens. I need to see if I get the hat. the mail but oh mother all right well we're gonna go ahead and end this one here guys um i'm gonna go ahead and save it but hold on oh wait this isn't damn it never mind i thought this was um the song waiting by the band 10 years never mind um, so damn it. Yeah, go ahead and save here. End it. Um, I'm gonna have to make a run down to Cosplayer Conan. Because I must not have grabbed the hat or something. But, uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day and I'll see you.